Mm. Wow. Dear viewers, this is your host, Tori Lazarovich. You are welcome to buckle up and join us on a journey of discovery of the Jewish community in the USA through food. It's going to be funny, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be exciting, and it's going to be delicious. So maybe you should unbuckle your seatbelts. The Jewish foodie, lift up. ברוכים הבאים לפודי היהודי, וברוכים הבאים לניו יורק. כאן אנחנו מתחילים את המסע שלנו להכרת יהודי ארצות הברית דרך האוכל. כי בעצם כאן באמת הכל התחיל, בשכונת ה-Lower East Side. שם פגשתי את פול. היי, איך אתה? היי, איך אתה? אני פול. אני מורי, נכון להכיר אותך. אני חושב שאתה היית מהמאן ב-Lower East Side. Well, I've been here all 74 of my years. פול הוא מהאגודה לשימור המורשת היהודית ב-Lower East Side, והוא הולך לקחת אותי למקומות שבהם המורשת היהודית והאוכל מתחברים. Now we're going to head over to Katz's, the, the famous deli in, in Manhattan. The tour buses constantly pull up. And you know their famous slogan from World War II? No. Send a salami to your boy in the army. <laughs> And they still have those signs there from World War II. This is Katz's, a must-see when people come and visit New York. Uh, probably made most famous by when Harry met Sally. Yeah. And I know sitting next to me, you feel like you're going to have an orgasm, mm. but try to control yourself. This, this place is since the 1880s, 1888, and it's filled with nostalgia. You can look at the... the photos on the wall and all the actors and so on uh, who come here. And the food is really good. And, and, and they give you enough to eat. Beside the food being so good, it, th there's a th throwback feeling uh, and a lot hasn't changed and not cutting the meat on a meat slicer it's like hand and yeah it, it's still handmade the pastrami uh, they season it in their own brine they they have a place where they do that so what are we eating? You're eating a pastrami on rye. It's common in, in Jewish delis. Is there a decent way to hold Open it? Open your mouth wide. Yeah. And now you can have your orgasm. Mm. Good, isn't it? Mm. It really is good. Mm. Everyone knows the movie. It, and there it is, there's a sign right over your head, send a salami to your boy in the army. And you ask why people come here, again, there's that connectiveness and, and nostalgic feeling. I was in the army, I ate in the army, and I ate in the army, and I ate in the army. After Katz, Paul took me to a place of mythology and wonderful. אפילו יותר ממנו. The Yom HaShemol is the first Knish Rit that came to the United States. A Knish is potato with onions and the spices wrapped in a very thin dough, round and baked. You're forgetting one thing when you said, what's a knish? And it's delicious. 
when the Oyen Shimmel opened in 1910, you were dealing with a huge influx of, of Jews from Eastern Europe, from 1880 to 1924. And it was so crowded, you had over two million Jews come here, and you had city teeming with the density of Calcutta. You needed um, comfort food. And not only do, do they bring their customs and their rabbi from their towns, they also bring their food from Eastern Europe. Nish is a Yiddish word for dumpling. What yeah. kind of knish would you like? I love the chocolate cheese, the cherry cheese, apple cheese, okay. blueberry cheese. That's my tray. Pimarev. Wow. Mm. I feel like I'm eating history. So we started from a push cart. Uh, Yona Shemo, he came to United States. His dream was to teach people Torah. That's what he wanted mm -hmm. to do. But people, like you said, didn't have money. So his wife started to make knishes. That's what she knew. In 1910, they opened up a shop here. And we've been here ever since. And at that time, all the immigrants were settled in this neighborhood. It was like a heart of the community. And we were very popular. Why? One of the reasons is because the food was affordable and um, it was very ta tasty. Thank you. People ask me, why, uh, why the knish? It's been around for so many years. My answer to the question is uh, because Yona Shimmel had a seed level of wanting to teach people Torah, mm -hmm. Torah doesn't die. Mm. That's what we live by. Right. The Knishas is connected to that energy. That's why we're here for so many years. חבר'ה, הבאתם אותי לניו יורק, בשביל מה? בשביל לגמור אותי סופית? אמרתם לי מקומות טעימים, כיפים, לא אמרתם לי שיהיה פה... אה... לא קל, לא קל, חברים. No, it really moved me. את הפרק הראשון במסע שלנו נסיים בבסיס של הבסיס, המאכל הכי יהודי באמריקה, במוסד הכי יהודי אמריקאי, הבייגל של ראסן דוטרס. הגעתי לניו יורק, אמרו לי, אורי, כנס לראסן דוטרס, אז פגשתי את הדוטר של הדוטר של הדוטר. ניקי! אורי! Russ and Daughters was um, started 108 years ago by my great-grandfather, Joel Russ, or Joel Rus. He was a, a Galicianer from a little shtetl in what's Poland today. He first, he started by selling schmaltz herring just out of a barrel, standing here on the streets of this neighborhood, the Lower East Side. The Lower East Side is the historic um, starting point for so many Jewish Americans. This is where so many immigrants arrived. So he had a lot of customers here. He went from the barrel of herring to a um, having a, a push cart wow. to having a horse and a wagon. And then in 1914, he opened a store. That's the classic Jewish America in one bite. איזה כיף, 12 שעות טיסה, אחרי זה עוד שעה בפקקים, בעצם הביאו אותי לפה, למקום הכי מיוחד שיש, ויש פה ישראלים, מה קורה, אלינה? אני עובדת פה כבר כמעט 30 שנה. מה אנחנו אוכלים? מה אנחנו מכינים? מה אנחנו עושים? אתם תאכלו בייגל עם קרים צ'יז, סלמון מעושן, עגבניה בצל וצלפים. לא, זה יפה מדי כדי לאכול את זה, אתם חייבים לראות. אוקיי. חבר'ה, שווה? 12 שעות רק בשביל הביס הזה. זה כמו חלילה. וואו, זה נכון. זה כל כך טוב. אתה יודע מה אני אוהב על זה? לא, לא, זה מלא. You have it all the time. Uh, Sharing is caring. Mm. Wow. Mm. 
You know, it's so cool, but I think it's so cool. Yeah. Is that now it's not just a taste of Jewish America. It's just a taste of America. I love that for a lot of people, this is how they, this is their Jewish identity. This is their Jewish food. But for other people, they're, you know, we have visitors coming from all over the world. And for them, this is what New York tastes like. Have a great time on your trip, although this is going to be the best thing you ate. Yeah, Definitely. probably, yeah. probably. <laughs> no, she's right. We canceled the show. We don't need 10 episodes, right? Okay. See you in the second episode. Okay, okay. All right. I'll see you in Israel. Great. I promise. בגדול אני לא יודע איך יהיה להיות שבועיים בארצות הברית. מאוד טעים לי עדיין, ואני קצת רוצה לחזור לאכול עוד דברים, ואני אחזור רגע לקנות לי עוד דברים. כי אני חייב לטעום שם גם את הארינג, ואני חייב לטעום את הדג מלוך. זה בסדר מבחינתכם? התלהבות של התחלה וזה. חכו פה, אתם רוצים משהו? תביאי את כל מה שנשאר. אוקיי. סגרו! סגרו לי בפרצוף, לא משנה, יש עוד הרבה מקומות, יאללה בוא נלך, יאללה בסדר. מה זה הביס הזה? אתה בן אדם לא נורמלי. שמעת בסאונד את הפריך? This dish is... אלוהים ישמור! היי, אני אורל אייזרוביץ', שחקן קומיקאי ומכין המנטשן מקצועי. אל תן לי הגלידה! You can't eat all of it. I can't stop, sorry. אתה מזלם? לא חושב שהשתכרתי בסיור הזה. וואו! איזה חינני דחוק. Do you know how to dance? Welcome to Austin, Texas. Welcome to Memphis. Welcome to Wyoming. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I can already tell.